Hey, how y'all doing? This is Cooking with Dave. I'm Dave. I am the world's greatest chef that says so right here on my apron. And my apron wouldn't lie to us. Y'all know what I'm doing. Anyway, today I'm cooking some baked beans. I like baked beans. They're good. They're good for you. Can't beat it. Put a little sugar in them. They're wonderful. Um, we're just going to use some navy beans. You can use great northern beans. You can use uh, navy beans. Any kind of white bean pretty much works. Uh, I just soaked them overnight about a pound of dried baby beans. You can use canned beans for this recipe also if you want to. You can use canned beans. If you use canned beans, just don't cook them as long as I do on top of the stove. I'm going to cook these beans on top of the stove for a while in my Dutch oven, and then I'm going to slide them into the oven and finish them off. But uh, we're going to cook them on top of the stove and get them tender. So if you want to use canned beans, that's fine. Just don't cook them as long as I do on top of the stove. You'll spend more time in the oven. Take you about 45 minutes to an hour probably to cook them in the oven if you're canned beans. It's going to take us about four hours to cook these dried beans. All right, let me show you how to put it together. Okay, here we are at the Dutch oven. We're going to take a Dutch oven and put about a half pound, you can use a pound if you want to, of bacon in our Dutch oven. We're going to cook it a little bit. We're not going to cook it till it's crisp. We're going to cook it just till it starts getting some grease out of it. Cook a little of that fat down into our pan and we're going to make our baked beans something wonderful. If you do not have a Dutch oven, don't worry about it. You can just use a regular stock pot, um, whatever kind of big pot you have. You can cook some beans in and whenever it's time to put them in the oven, you can just transfer them to a casserole dish and put them in the oven. All right, we're going to let our bacon cook. I'm going to chop a little onion. All right, our bacon is about 75% done. Not done. It's not cooked all the way. We cooked some fat out of it. And that's about right, right there. Uh oh. That's time to go ahead and add one chopped onion. We're going to put about two tablespoons of garlic in this thing. We'll put two tablespoons of garlic in it. Stir it up a little bit, get those onions to caramelize, that bacon grease, oh man it smells wonderful, I wish y'all could smell that, bacon and onion and garlic. Alright, we're going to hit that little bit of salt and pepper, Just a little bit of salt and some pepper, some pepper and some pepper. Alright. Once your onions start to, you know, get a little translucent, getting those flavors out, then we're gonna throw our beans right on top of there. I took my beans, I soaked them overnight. Um, I think soaked beans about eight hours. They soak up. That's a navy bean. Uh, that's all it is. I dry, they were dry, and I just soaked them overnight. I changed the water out, and I dumped the water off, and I left just a little tiny bit. You can see this little layer of water there on top. I'm gonna dump that right in there. Like that. A little stir. Because they don't have enough liquid in there. And then I'm going to add four cups of chicken broth. And we're going to start cooking these things. And they're going to cook. And they are going to be wonderful. If you need to, add a little more salt and pepper. Whatever you think. Um, I'll add salt and pepper later. But this part, we're going to cook the beans. We're going to make them tender. Uh, we're going to bring it to a boil. Put our lid on it and let that thing simmer, uh, medium, a little less than medium, just till our beans start to get a little tender, and then we'll be ready to make baked beans out of them. Okay, here we are back at our baked beans. Take a look here, simmering nicely. Looks good. I want to check and make sure that my beans are tender. I can mash one on the side there. It's just pretty soft. They don't have to be completely done, but if you don't want any crunch, you want them to be tender. I will taste one and make sure it is tender. Hmm, it is good. Tastes like bacon and onion. That's good. That's the base for our baked bean. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and take that bacon out. That's why I left it whole. If you don't want to leave the bacon, you can take the bacon out. 
I'm going to leave the bacon in there because bacon ain't nothing but good. Y'all know that. I'm going to take a whole cup of brown sugar. I'm going to go ahead and turn my stove off, by the way. If you're using canned beans, this process only takes you about 15 minutes. Once you get the beans back to a simmer, pretty much turn the stove off and then add what I'm getting ready to add now. And your baked beans will become baked beans. But mine were dry, so I had to cook them about an hour to get them tender. Um, they're wonderful, ready to go. Uh, so go ahead, and this time, we're going to take a cup of brown sugar. Make sure you pack your brown sugar. You need to pack it down, because brown sugar will leave air up in there and lie to you. It's not really a cup. So pack your brown sugar down in your cup. Make sure you get a whole cup of brown sugar. Put it right into your beans. Just like that. We're going to take a half cup of molasses. Just some regular natural molasses right there half cup you can use more or less if you want depending on how you like it then we're going to use a can of tomato paste just a little can of tomato paste just requires a little bit this can here this can is a six ounce can of tomato paste and we're going to add just a teaspoon of chili pepper just a teaspoon Give us a little flavor, just regular chili powder. Then we're going to add a quarter cup, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. A quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. All right. Give this all one nice stir. And see there, we're gonna start looking like a baked bean now. Changing that color up. Look good. And then I'm going to stick these in the oven and cook this in the oven. You got to stir up that tomato paste in there. I'm going to cook this in the oven on 350 until everything thickens up. Once they thicken up, pretty much they will be done. Now, if you don't have a Dutch oven like I'm cooking in here, or you don't have an oven safe pot, just go ahead at this time, after you get everything all stirred up, get that tomato paste all stirred up in there. But right now, if I wasn't going to put just the whole pot in the oven, I would dump all this into a casserole dish and then stick the casserole dish into the oven. You could put it in a slow cooker and slow cook it six to eight hours or until it thickens up and the beans are tender and it's the same thing. Either way, they will be wonderful. We get all your tomato paste in there everything all stirred up nice I shall put it in the oven did I forget anything I feel like I forgot something and the apple cider vinegar oh I did I did I forgot I like to just do a squirt or so of mustard not a lot just a little bit squirt of mustard you can use dry mustard if you want to about a tablespoon maybe two tablespoons depending on how much you like mustard Alright, once you get it thoroughly, everybody's all stirred up thoroughly. Um, like I said, you can dump it into a casserole dish. I'm just going to put the lid on it and then put it into the oven at 350 degrees until it all thickens up and it'll be ready to go. Okay, I had the beans in the oven. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, looking good. Looking like baked bean. Give them a little stir. Thicken it up nicely. Hello. Nice and thick. Baked bean ready to go. Look at that. That's wonderful, isn't it? Mmm. Nom nom. That right there is what we call baked bean a la day. And there's dinner. Baked chicken with barbecue sauce, baked beans, and corn. Alright, there we go. That's uh, baked beans. Cooked Dave's way. They're very good. Gotta love them. Go cook yourself some baked beans. You won't believe how good they are. And they're actually good for you. Baked beans have lots of fiber, and lots of nutrients that are good for you. Have yourself some baked beans today. Alright, y'all have a great day. Thanks.